guys this is Charlotte Rose and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time guys welcome and if you're an oldie but goodies thank you guys for sticking around so guys if you want to do me a favor and go hit that subscribe button the like button the comment all of that good stuff so as you can see on today's video it's a cleaning day but I'm gonna start out on the rug I'm gonna steam vac this and also do some decorating for spring so if you want to see this guys please stick around and as you can see the kiddies are helping me out Safi, uh, Karif and Naraya and um these two are the best of friends, so you're going to see them in this video a lot. So stick around, guys. steam vacuum this rug and I am using the Bissell power force power brush I got that question in my other video when I clean the shag rug so I'm just letting you guys see which uh, vacuum I'm using and I made my own solution like I said the one that came with it did not work so I mean it might work for somebody else but it didn't work for me so what I have in here is some Tide the last time I used Persil with some Ammer laundry booster and vinegar is in here right now and this area here that's looking nice and white is the area under the table and the rest of the area is the traffic area where we walk i mean it's not so bad but it's bad if you compare the two that's the under the table high traffic area so i'm gonna get this done now and there is kids everywhere so let's hope for the best also guys if you're interested there is upgrades to this vacuum with built-in eater and stuff like that you could check it out at walmart.com or bissell.com in order to get this rug started you want to get it really wet you want to saturate it with the water so in doing so you want to push forward and release the water and when you're pulling back toward you you let that button go and it helps to pull that water out that way your rug is not too wet when you're done so there goes miss naraya hey mama so i'm gonna just play some music for you guys and get this party started Also guys, just to let you know, I'm going vertically and horizontally. That way I could get way deep under the fibers of the rug. That really helps when you go both ways and not just one direction. So 
So as you can see guys, the water is really dirty and I've tried to keep up to this steam vacuuming thing of this rug on a monthly basis, but sometimes it just does not happen. Still a full-time job and stuff like that. So sometimes I don't get around to doing it, but I'm trying to keep up guys. I'm trying to keep up. So stick with me. Okay. So this is the first water. And as you can see, it's really dirty, like really dirty. Oh my God. These rugs take a lot. Okay. So this is what it's looking like guys after my first go around. It's not looking so bad, but with that color of water, you really do need to go over it again. So I'm gonna go over it maybe two more times and see how the water is looking. The water finished, so I refilled my water. I also cleaned out the water chamber. Guys, you also want to make sure you pay some attention to the edges of your rug. That area tends to be a little more dirty and harder to clean. So what I did, I actually put the brush off the vacuum and let it sit there for a couple of seconds each time. And I did that all around the rug. So that's what I was doing in that little bit of clip there. Also guys, I want to mention that whether you have an area rug or a full house rug, you want to keep on top of your cleaning regimen with this because these rugs tend to attract dirt really quick and fast and it might seem that I don't clean the rug as often as possible but I do and um, the water is mad dirty but trust me these rugs they attract dirt real fast and you just want to be on top of things with these because if you have allergy or anything like that it could get, get you sick plus if you have kids that's always on the floor and stuff like that you just want to keep on top of your cleaning regimen with this and um, maybe monthly is not often enough for me but that's the time I have because I still do a full-time job so it sometimes it's just what it is but I just want to show you guys that these rugs do attract a lot of dirt real fast. Ants? Where's the ant? He's a frog. So she's learning her words, guys. I said frog. Show them. Frog. Froggy. Frog. Flower. Butterfly. Sun. Lion. Plain, plain. Okay guys, so this is what the rug is looking like. The eye traffic area is almost starting to look like that middle area. I might end up doing this a third time. And if I never mention at the start of the video, I am using extremely hot water for this to get the dirt out real fast. Okay guys, so now it's time to rinse my rug, <laughs> you know. Uh, so I'm adding some Febreze in the water just to get some nice fragrance in that rug from Jump.
So guys, I got done with the vacuuming, the steaming off the rug, the shampooing off the rug, whatever you want to call it. And I think this rug is looking mighty clean. What do you guys think? I think it's mighty clean. And we're going to go back to our reference area. This is where the table was. So it got no dirt at all. And this is where the eye traffic area is. I think it got cleaner. I mean, the work is a lot. So now I'm gonna straighten the rest of the living room. So guys, if no one else is happy that summer is right here, I am because after doing all that vacuuming and stuff, I realized the kids have the O's hooked up outside. So why not just take the rug outside and get it all washed down nice and clean, right? Why not work and play? I'm having some fun with the kitties. <laughs> the water was so cold. <laughs> Aren't you a beach boy? <laughs> Bikini? Okay guys, so this is where the rug got dried and it's all dry now so i'm just gonna take it and bring it inside it's like what six in the morning mighty early to hear the birds also guys please stay tuned for my back porch makeover